Hey guys, it's me Lily here, and today I'm going to be doing a looming tutorial for those of my channel who like to loom and don't know how to do this style. It is a triple single, and at the back it has a single chain bracelet. What you'll need is the amount of, bra of rubber bands you'll need to make the single and triple chain, and I recommend two C clips. But you can also use two S clips. So let's get started. As you already can tell, I already got my triple single set on my crazy loom. You do need a loom for this, and it matters which size. I have two. One is a fun loom, which is really hard to use for me. Maybe easier for some people, but it's hard for me. And this one, which is the crazy loom from Crazy Art, Shimmer and Sparkle right here. I really recommend this one because it is more easier. You'll also still need this hook, which I forgot to mention. So just have that by your side. Now we're going to make the this part, which is going to be the single part. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. You have... I use a fork. You can also use the another crazy loom, but I use this for now because I don't have another crazy loom and I don't want to use the fun loom. So I'm going to use the exact same colors that I use for the triple single, but you don't have to. As you guys can see, I for the single I just use white and it's red and green and, blue and a little bit of brown. So what you're going to do is when it I'm going to be doing, you can either do a single loom or a fishtail. I'm going to do the fishtail because my colors are free sums and not two sums, which would be the um, single loom on the fork. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to make a figure eight like this. And I'm going to do that with the free colors. And remember guys, you can get extras. I found them at two dollars at Toys R Us for the single colors. I don't, and I think they're like fourteen dollars if you want a whole bunch of them. Oh wait, that's a different color. So what you're just gonna do that? Simple enough. Now there's one thing you really gotta make sure of. If you're doing them with a fork, what I used to do before I got a loom was I make sure it fit all around. You can't do that for this. You. You have to make sure it's like maybe to the wrist, but if, if you don't have to be perfect. Anyways, so now you're gonna take the two, the bottom. You can you can either use your fingers or a a hook. You don't need to use the hook for this. I think it's really simple. Just doing that. Just do it like this. Then you put another one on. Go like this with the second color. And you keep on doing this. Now I'll be right back. And I'm going to put the hook on. What I'm going to do after I leave is I'm, when I'm done with this, I'm going to put the hook on. Not the hook. The C, the C clip. And then I'm going to start picking this. Now, the instructions to the crazy loom are simple, but I didn't really know how to. It was still confusing for me, at least. So, I'm just going to tell you guys, go under the triangles, and then try and, lo and loom it. That'll help you. I'll be, okay, be right back. This is what it would look like. Now, over here, you guys notice that I put the final... Band, like I loomed it over like I did in the first step. Then I just put the two other rubber bands over here. And then I'm going to put the clip right on the end. Then I'm, And then I'm going to put another clip right here. And this is what the um, triple single should look like. Now if you guys notice, uh -uh, right here I didn't... What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take these two, put it on top, these two, put it on top. I didn't do that this time because I feel like it may be easier 
if you just put it on one at a time, but you got to be extremely careful because you can break it at a time. Now, around here, I sort of like broke it on accident. So what I just did was, I just, if you didn't go that far, you can, like, take it off and just re -put, replace them. Then you can just continue, and, yeah. So now, I'm going to put on the clips. Then what you just do is basically just take the, take the single loom off. I will show you guys that in a second. Then I'll show the finishing process. Okay, so it sort of got a little bit mixed up in the room because I put on the next clip instead of a C clip because the C clip sort of broke. I, I mean, the C clip wouldn't work, I should say. The C clip didn't work. I know if you put it from the end of an S clip, it would be fine, but if it this does somehow get ruined i'm sort of going to play in the s clip and highly recommend using a c clip but i'm all fresh out with c clips but this is what it looked like using a sort of type of c clip so here we go don't really want to throw out my hard work okay so it's only a little bit ruined but if you believe me, you saw my first one. This does really work. Just next time. Highly recommend using C clips. Okay, so it didn't turn out that bad. Maybe I'll just take the one out. And it's still not as bad. Probably because these are holding it together. Okay. So, here you go. I sort of got messed up at the end, too. But, I think I could probably fix this. Maybe it's in the middle. Okay, so this is what it should look like when you're completed, and here's the back. So I think I did a pretty good job on this. I know it did not perfect as this one, but I think these are really good. And these are for people who, um... You know, don't really know how to loom yet. They're still, like, in this beginner zone. So, those are for those people, not for those people who know how, already how to make starburst. I sort of know how to make a starburst flower ring, but they don't turn out as perfect as they would if you made, if some other professionals made them. And the only reason why you can notice maybe some greens are lighter or and darker than the others is because that I still use right here just the packaging of Crazy Loom and all those are mixed as per your colors of rainbows. And I ran out of pink, sort of. I have a couple because those sort of match with these. This is the Crazy Room and that Loom. Bleh. So, yeah rubber bands so I'm going to buy more they're one two dollars at Toys R Us and you can get the independent ones like I said in the beginning then at the end and if you want like a whole bunch of packs which you got for Christmas and some of those colors are mixed in as we as we speak and we talk yeah. and those are like 14 dollars I don't remember so yeah thank you guys for watching this video Please leave a thumbs up if you like looming. And I hope this helped the people who are beginners like I am. I'm sort of a beginner. And I hope these turn out great. And, um, next I make a video that I didn't realize I had made any videos. I'm going to do some of the other looms that I either got from friends or I made. I'm going to do 
hopefully Starling and True Sisters book the book. Because by spring I'm going to get a phone. Because I'm still using my mom's phone now. Since my iPad. More True Sisters, more book to book, and more Box of Wands. But I realized I'm using VLFX and I have Box of Wands episodes done. And I'll sure upload those. I'm so sorry I haven't made any videos. But thank you guys for staying with me. I guess you guys know that you'll never get rid of me. Bye.